This next state officer can be found on his Instagram posting pictures of his Corgi Penny or at your local Dutch Bros whipping up a Tiger's Blood Soda. With his session theme titled The Extra Mile, I want to introduce you to my best friend in your 2019-2020 Arizona FFA State Treasurer, Connor Sawyer. A while back, I was scrolling through Pinterest, adding some quotes to my infamous Pinterest board. And after scrolling for a bit, I came across this quote that instantly called my name. The quote read, travel. Your money will return, your time won't. I quickly pinned this quote to my Pinterest board and began to reminisce on some of my favorite pastimes on road trips. You see, I absolutely love going on road trips. There's something so special about hopping into a car with some friends or your family and going on a journey. Now, when I begin to think about some road trips, I think of some special times that have left such an impact on my life. Let's get ready to hop into my ride and take a trip down memory lane. Now, our first trip takes us back five years ago. It is my eighth grade year, a time where you're supposed to be so excited and ready to take on the year. But that wasn't the case for me. At this point in my life, I had just moved to a new school and the thoughts that were constantly running through my mind were, I don't fit in here or what do those people think of me? As someone that lacks a lot of confidence, going to a new school was what I thought was one of the hardest things for me. But I was fortunate enough to find a class that made things just a little bit easier. I decided to join FFA, a place where I felt a little more comfortable and almost as if I was a part of something, which led me to joining the livestock judging team. After joining the livestock judging team, the big day finally came where my livestock judging teammates and I were going to compete. Now on this specific morning, I woke up extra early and my mom and I were headed to the school to drop me off so I could get on the bus. And on the way there, I told my mom, I can't ride that bus because I was too scared. You see, I was scared because being around people often left me feeling left out and feeling insecure thinking that people were judging me. So. I asked my mom if she would drive me up to Safford so I could compete. She somehow agreed, so we headed up to Safford. After I competed, we waited around for awards, and needless to say, my over-anxious self didn't do too hot. So my mom and I headed home, and I began to reflect on my day. You see, I was pretty upset that I had lost that day, but I was even more upset that I missed out on so many opportunities that day. My whole life I have struggled with stepping out of my comfort zone and trying new things because of my insecurities of never feeling good enough for anyone. And on this specific day, I chose to keep my guard up. And because I kept my guard up, I missed out on so many opportunities to bond with members from my chapter and get to know my livestock judging teammates a little better. Now, fast forward a few more years to the next stop on our journey. A few friends, my advisor and myself, hopped into a truck and took a road trip to a livestock camp in Kansas. After our two-day excursion, we reached our destination, YGB Livestock Camp. We got out of the truck to stretch our legs and we were greeted by this over-enthusiastic man who was just a little bit too loud for it being so early in the morning. I listened to this guy talk for a little while and decided that I was gonna introduce myself to him. He said his name was Chastin and Chastin told us to grab our equipment, unload our animals and head to the show ring. Now I kid you not when I say I was literally shaking in my boots. I had never shown a lamb before and had no idea what was going down. But I decided that I was gonna fake it till I make it 
and act like I knew exactly what was going down. And while we were showing, Chastin constantly kept saying, don't cut corners in the show ring. And after two days at camp, I could literally hear Chastin in my head repeating over and over and over, don't cut corners in the ring. It was definitely one of his pet peeves. Now at the end of camp, Chastin sat all the showmen down and cracked a few jokes and began to share a story with us. And after he shared his story, Chastin said, whether you are in the show ring or not, don't ever cut corners in life. Now as this trip came to an end, I began to realize that there is so much more to life when we all try just a little bit harder. Now on to the last trip on our journey. My state officer teammates and many Arizona FFA members packed our bags as we headed to the 92nd National FFA Convention and Expo. While there, we listened to so many amazing guest speakers, one of those being Bob Goff. Bob shared with us his passions about educating the next generation. His passions go so far that he agreed to write a book for a publishing company if they built a school in a third world country in return. Through Bob's hard work and vision, he and his team have built schools in six third world countries that continue to educate thousands of students each and every year. When asked why Bob does what he does, Bob says that he believes every person has the potential to be the next doctor or teacher or astronaut if they have the right education and guidance in life. You see, Bob Goff goes above and beyond to help those in need because for him, it's a passion that has led him down his journey in life. Now, after all of the traveling I have done throughout my life, I have come to realize that it is extremely important that we sit down and reflect after each journey that we take. And when I sit down and reflect about my journey in life so far, I have come to realize that I have missed out on so many opportunities in my life because of my insecurities just like I did in eighth grade. But if we can remember, Bob Goff never misses an opportunity to try something new, to chase his passion with a relentless pursuit. So the next time you are struggling to make that big decision, or you're unsure if you want to try something new, take advantage of that opportunity. Because as we can learn from Chastin, we may never know the rewards that come from going to greater lengths. It is time that we all start going the extra mile and opportunity will follow. And remember, as you're packing your bag for your next big journey, keep in mind that going the extra mile holds opportunities of the unknown that await us all. Connor. Thank you for showing us that our passions can speak louder than words, no matter the direction you choose. Throughout the year, you have shown us an abundance of nonstop energy, contagious laughter, and a heart bigger than Trixie Mattel's wig. Thank you for being the Trixie to my Katya and a friend to those around you. I'd now like to present to you your retiring plaque. Arizona FFA, your state treasurer, Connor Sawyer. <laughs> 